Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, July 25th. Point men to the cross of Calvary. King of my life, I crown thee now. Thine shall the glory be. Lest I forget thy thorn-crowned brow, lead me to Calvary. May I be willing, Lord, to bear daily thy cross for thee. Even thy cup of grief to share, thou hast borne all for me. Lest I forget Gethsemane, lest I forget thine agony, lest I forget thy love for me, lead me to Calvary. Point men to the cross of Calvary. And I will pour upon the house of David And upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the spirit of grace and of supplications, and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. Zechariah chapter 12 verse 10. There are times when apostasy comes into the ranks, when piety is left out of the heart by those who should have kept step with their divine leader. The people of God separate from the source of their strength and pride, vanity, extravagance, and display follow. There are idols within and idols without, but God sends the comforter as a reprover of sin that his people may be warned of their apostasy and rebuked for their backsliding. When the more precious manifestations of his love shall be gratefully acknowledged and appreciated, the Lord will pour in the balm of comfort and the oil of joy. When men are led to realize that their human calculations come far short and are convinced that their wisdom is but foolishness, then it is that they turn to the Lord to seek him with all the heart that they may find him. It has been shown me that every church among us needs the deep movings of the Spirit of God. Oh, we would point men to the cross of Calvary. We would bid them look upon him whom their sins have pierced. We would bid them to behold the Redeemer of the world, suffering the penalty of their transgression of the law of God. The verdict is that the soul that sinneth, it shall die. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 4. But on the cross, the sinner sees the only begotten of the Father dying in his stead and giving the transgressor life. All the intelligences in the earth and heaven are called upon to behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Every sinner may look and live. Do not survey that scene of Calvary with careless, thoughtless mind? Can it be that angels shall look down upon us, the recipients of God's love, and see us cold, indifferent, unimpressible, when heaven in amazement beholds the stupendous work of redemption to save a fallen world and desires to look into the mystery of Calvary's love and woe? Angels, in wonder and amazement, look upon those for whom so great salvation has been provided and marvel that the love of God does not awaken them and lead them to pour forth melodious strains of gratitude and adoration. But the result, which all heaven looks to behold, is not seen among those who profess to be followers of Christ. How readily do we speak in endearing words of our friends and relatives, and yet how slow we are to speak of him 
whose love has no parallel, set forth in Christ crucified among you. The love of our Heavenly Father in the gift of His only begotten Son to the world is enough to inspire every soul to melt every hard, loveless heart into contrition and tenderness. And yet, shall heavenly intelligences see in those for whom Christ died insensibility to His love, hardness of heart, and no response of gratitude and affection to the giver of all good things? Shall affairs of minor importance absorb the whole power of the being, and the love of God meet no return? Shall the sun of righteousness shine in vain? In view of what God has done, could his claims be less upon you? This passage was taken from Christian Education, pages 95 and 96. Our Daily Bread, July 25th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.